Nick Saban's arguably the G coat, the greatest coach of all time in any sport on any level. The college football dynasty for which he's responsible at Alabama is the evidence that Saban is in a class all by himself. Wonder why all those high profile SEC power programs keep changing coaches lately? Why is who? Who's coaching Alabama? So the good taxpayers of the state of, that, of Alabama have as their highest paid state employee an $11 million a year football coach. And if the best college football team in America is the state's top priority, the people are getting their money's worth. And then some, really, because on the current scale, Saban's paid just about right, maybe even a little light. He's the coach of the century right now in a business where multi-millions are what the merely excellent coaches get. So I have no problem with professionals getting paid what the market will bear. To the contrary, I enthusiastically support it. Get yours. Meanwhile, collegedata.com estimates that a school year in Tuscaloosa sets a college kid back more than $25,000 after the dorm room and the books and the dining hall are all paid for. 25 grand if you come from Alabama, 41 grand if you want to come from out of state. It's a lot of dough for access to opportunity. Opportunity as in publicly available opportunity at a public school. Four years, $100,000. So I have to ask this. Did the people who chose to give Nick Saban all that money think about what their institution is supposed to provide their public? The Crimson Tide football team generates a ton of revenue. But where's it all going? And how do we expect to have an educated population when getting educated puts such a burden on young people and families? Look, I love college football, especially SEC football. And Nick Saban's actually a big reason why that is. And that pretty much tells us why he gets the 11 million per. How much do we as a culture love the idea of access to higher education. That's what Saban's contract makes me wonder.